Is there really anything better than a fall candle? I don't think so. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and as you saw from that introduction and the title, it's the first Bath & Body Works candle haul of the season for fall. I know it's crazy, I have my fall background, and fall candles are coming in at Bath & Body Works. This is round one of fall, actually called the Summer 3 Collection, but they're fall candles. As you know, us fall people love our fall and can't get it any earlier. It can keep coming and I don't care. I never get sick of fall. Fall is my favorite season and I have 12 Bath & Body Works fall candles to show you and I emphasis on the fall because there's two that don't really necessarily fit the bill for fall, but there's a lot of favorites in here that I'm so excited to have back in my life. So without further ado, let's have a sniff session, shall we? First things first, we want to talk a little bit, or I want to talk a little bit about the new White Barn packaging. The White Barn candles got a restage, and let me tell you, they're beautiful. So first thing you'll notice is that there's a very wide label on the White Barn now that says Pumpkin Spice Latte, and they also list three of the notes that are in the candle. Now, no, this isn't everything that's in the candle, just the notes that you're going to smell. You also will notice there's a very thin metal gold lid on the top. It might be a little bit hard to tell on the camera, but it's almost half of what the old lids or non-white barn lids are. You also have this really matte glass. Now, it is interesting because it does state that it's a matte glass, but some of them, as you see here, are still shiny. So I don't know if it's just a transition or what's really going on, but I love the new packaging. Not too thrilled with the extra dollar price, but that's what it is if they're on sale and you have a 20% off coupon. It's really not that big of a difference. And at the end of the day, price increases happen. They happen globally. We were in this thing called COVID, a pandemic lately. And in case you weren't familiar, and things went up in price. So it was bound to happen with Bath & Body Works as well. But nonetheless, I have some awesome new candles from that line, and I really love the White Barn color line. I know some people are hit or miss on it. I love the simplicity. I love being able to use it in a holder where you just get the solid color. I like that they all match, and I'm just a really big fan of the color lines in general. But I do have one, two, three, four, five in the color line that I want to talk about, and then I have two other collections. First up, like I said, we have Pumpkin Spice Latte, and the notes say Pumpkin Spice, Fresh Espresso, and Whipped Cream. It instantly puts me in a good mood, you guys. Now, if you're familiar with Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, your local coffee shop, Pumpkin Spice Lattes, they don't necessarily smell like a pumpkin, and that's what I want to talk about, and I'll talk about you'll probably get sick of me talking about pumpkin spice. When you hear pumpkin spice, you're smelling nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, vanilla. You're smelling what goes into pumpkin spice, pumpkin pies. It's not necessarily pumpkin. So in this candle, you get the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the vanilla, a hint of espresso. Nothing overpowering. Any non-coffee lover would love this candle. And fresh whipped cream. It smells... I get iced lattes even in the winter. I don't care. Or the fall. But it definitely smells like a pumpkin spice latte to a tea. Just a very little bit of espresso, which to me, I love the smell of espresso better than coffee. It's stronger, but it has a more bold, more almost creamy fragrance to it than regular coffee. Sometimes coffee can come off a little bit bitter, just like it does in real life. And mixed with the pumpkin spice and the whipped cream, oh my god, heaven. Now, different aspect, pumpkin vanilla creme. You guys, fresh pumpkin, vanilla creme, and nutmeg. So this one has the fresh pumpkin in there. Now what's interesting is even on the bottom, as I drop the label, 
it says creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. So there's more notes on the bottom than what it says on the label, but it smells just like pumpkin pie. You get that canned pumpkin. I would say fresh canned pumpkin, but you know canned pumpkin isn't the freshest. But it smells like that canned pumpkin. You get the sweetness. You get almost the flesh-likeness of the pumpkin mixed with a very creamy vanilla. To me, this almost smells like a Chantilly cream vanilla or almost like a vanilla homemade whipped cream where you're folding in the whipped cream, the fresh vanilla extract, and then a little bit of nutmeg. You don't get cinnamon in here. You don't get clove. You don't get any of those more harsh fall spices. You just get that rich, creamy pumpkin with vanilla. And let me tell you, we had this one burning the other day. It filled up the entire space. It was heavenly. Now, a new one this year, spiced cardamom. As soon as this came in, I had to have my hands on it. Cardamom, cinnamon spice, and dark cedar wood. Now, this is very interesting. You definitely get the cardamom cardamom right there in the forefront, but you also get the cedar wood very pronounced. And cedar wood smells like a cedar chest, 100%. You get the really almost robust, goes up your nose cedar wood fragrance, which if this was actually called spiced cedar wood, I would totally be like, yeah, it is. Not necessarily spiced cardamom because you definitely get the cedar wood heavy in this fragrance. Now, I love it though. I love cedar wood. I think this is a really interesting one. I think a lot of guys are gonna like this because it does bring more of a masculine vibe to it. But I love the neutral color with the gold label. I'm very impressed with this. I'm excited to see the strength on this when it burns. But on cold, it's a fantastic, very elevated and upscale fragrance. Now the next one we have is Cozy Cashmere, and Cozy Cashmere is Smooth Lavender, Warm Vanilla, and Pink Jasmine. This is one that I don't feel like is necessarily a fall fragrance, but it's so good. It really, to me, is more of a conceptual fragrance because Cashmere really doesn't have a smell to it. It's just whatever it's washed with. But Lavender, Vanilla, and Pink Jasmine. If you're familiar with the aromatherapy lavender vanilla, that's definitely like a note in the background in this, but the jasmine is definitely forward. If you don't love florals though, I still feel like you're gonna like this fragrance. It's not overpowering, it's not overbearing. It's very creamy, creamy and cozy. This is one I can picture if you have company coming over, you're not really sure what everybody likes, like, <clears throat> Spice cardamom, definitely, I feel like some people would come into your house and be like, whatever that is burning, I don't care for it at all. So, definitely not something that everybody would love, but Cozy Cashmere is. Sweater weather. Another conceptual fragrance, fresh sage, juniper berries, and eucalyptus. I feel like if anybody has been to a Bath and Body Works, you know what sweater weather is. People come in asking for it all year long. It's such a great scent. It's definitely juniper berry heavy. So you have to like that more almost sweet berry, but not like a strawberry or a blueberry or a cranberry or any of those other berries. It's j definitely juniper berry. And then the, uh, the sage and the eucalyptus is very spa-like. I love this scent. I love, love, love this scent. It's an interesting choice with the dark blue, but I really like it. And then the last one from the White Barn collection that I picked up is Salted Butterscotch, a classic. Brown sugar, sweet cream, and sea salt. This is so good. You get the brown sugar. Brown sugar, like, you know whenever... Every time I think of brown sugar, I think of my mom baking in the fall and you scoop the brown sugar and you make sure you pack it down and then whenever you dump it into the bowl, it almost looks like sand because it like breaks apart. Uh, it's captured right there in this fragrance, like a big KitchenAid stand mixer mixing all these ingredients together, the brown sugar and the sea salt. Uh, 
creating the best butterscotch candy. And it's so funny because what does everybody think of when they think of butterscotch candies? Old people keep them in their purse. But to me, this is much more upscale, really great comfort dessert type of scent. I feel like this is another really great scent to burn when company comes over because it really has all those elements in it. The rich, the warm, the butterscotch, the caramel. Oh, it's so decadent and delicious. I love that one. But I will say, if you had to pick one to purchase, pumpkin vanilla cream. It's hands down the best. I love it. It smells so good. It's amazing. Now we're going to get into five, six more fragrances that are more fun packaging. All right, so first up, we are going to talk from the Finally Fall Collection, Pumpkin Apple. Now, let's talk about packaging. It's not my favorite packaging. It definitely seems a bit lazy. It's like a split like diagonal split label with a cartoon image and then like basic font on the front. I'm not the biggest fan of this collection, but I do know it's just a pre-fall collection. It's still very festive and gets me in the mood for fall and nothing gets you more in the fall mood. Pumpkin apple. Simple. Red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, cinnamon and clove buds. So we have your quintessential fall spices with your two quintessential fall fruits. Pumpkin and apple. Oh, it's so good. I have from L3 the pumpkin apple type and scoopables. So you know I'm going to be melting that into my whole house and burning this candle front and center and filling this whole home with fall. To me, I feel like this candle if you want to buy somebody a fall candle but you're not sure what they like, Pumpkin Apple 100% is the vibe. Now, Pineapple Pound Cake. I watched Bonnie's video. She loves it. I am not the same. Pineapple Pound Cake. Fresh pineapple, sweet vanilla pound cake sprinkled with powdered sugar. All right. So the label's like this really bunt cake looking fragrance or cake with a little vanilla flower on the top. Interesting choice. All right. Bath and Body Works does make some really realistic fragrances and some are totally not what they're supposed to smell like. This is exactly what you would picture. Pineapple pound cake. It smells, we're going on a journey. It smells like pineapple juice that you get in a can, like a dual pineapple juice that's been sitting on the shelf at your grocery store. You crack it open, and you know those like poke cakes where you poke holes in the dessert and then you pour a juice on it and it absorbs it? It's like that. A very plain cake, but the cake is super stale. It's not a fresh cake. It's almost like you could break the cake and it just crumbles. That's what this smells like. It's very, very, like, to me it's missing something. It's missing the sweetness. This is like pineapple juice with no sugar. It's like very, very bland is how I kind of want to just, I do not like it. I bought it so I can review it. I want to light it. I want to see what it does, but I am not a fan of this. Maybe it changes when I put it in the burner when I start lighting it, but so far, it smells like like not sweet pineapple juice and stale cake. Not a vibe. Now these next four. Winner, winner, winner. This is the Fall Fresh Air Luminary Collection. Now as you can see, we have these beautiful leaves going around the entire candle and then the background is a solid color. So when you light these candles, all those leaves are going to glisten and glow. And the lids are these really fun rose gold, like almost like, um, like you took a mallet and banged the top of the lid. And the first one I got, leaves. You guys know. Leaves is the best. Crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. <sighs> Another Bath & Body Works staple. These next three I'm going to talk about. Staple, staple, staple for fall. 
It smells like very red apple cider simmering on the stove all day. Maybe you put it in the crock pot or the slow cooker and you're drinking this really, really hot apple cider in like a copper uh, mug like you would drink a mule out of. It's so good. Everybody knows it. It's amazing. Now the next one. It says a special place in my heart. It's one of the original favorite candles I've ever had from Bath & Body Works. Cranberry Woods. This says tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. I love this scent. I This is one of my happy scents. Every time I smell it, I get a big smile on my face. I love that it's bright red this year. And each leaf is a little bit different, too, I notice on the jars. But oh, it's so good, you guys. It is that tart cranberry, but then you get the really woodsy scent from the cedar wood and the cinnamon bark. Uh, the amber only mixes together in there, creating a more sophisticated body fragrance. If this ever came in a shower gel, game over. I would buy like 10 of them. I love the way this smells, you guys. And I have never had a problem with this performance-wise. Even back in the day years ago when Slatkin gave you like a little bit of a hit or miss on burns, but oh, I love that scent. And now, another classic, Marshmallow Fireside. Edda, Shout out to you, babe. I know how you say, like, I know all the types and all this stuff. So hopefully making these videos, you'll start to get your types down now, too. So Marshmallow Fireside. Toasted Marshmallow. Smoldering Woods. I feel like that right there captures the scent. Smoldering Woods. It's never changed in the scent description since it came out years ago. Fire Roasted Vanilla and Crystallized Amber. My eyes roll back in my head a little bit every time I smell this. It is perfection, creamy, gooey marshmallow roasted on the fire. Oh my god, it is so good, you guys. I literally, it's rainy, it's cool, it's damp this morning when I'm filming this video. And all I want to do is put on some PJs, watch a fall movie, and just light this candle and be transported to a campfire. Oh, it's such a good scent. And then last but not least, pumpkin clove. I actually never have owned pumpkin clove, but I love the scent of cloves. So this one is clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and fresh pumpkin. So again, we have that pumpkin note in there. And you get that in here too. If you do not like clove, clove I definitely prefer over cinnamon. Cinnamon and clove buds candle, though, not a vibe. Um, it's definitely clove heavy. You have to like clove to like this. And the cinnamon bark and the pumpkin really round out this scent. And the pumpkin makes the clove really comforting, I almost want to say. I love the jar. I can't wait to burn this. I think this is going to be such a fun jar to light. But, oh, it smells so good, you guys. The fresh pumpkin mixed with those um, really earthy, warm clothes. Oh, it's such a good scent. But if I could only tell you to pick up two candles this year, or this season, Cranberry Woods, Pumpkin Vanilla Crown. Two totally different vibes. One more bakery and sweet, one more fresh, outdoorsy, and earthy. Both incredible scents. I saw Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Body Cares there. Coconut candy apple, it is my season. I don't know how I'm going to contain myself at work all day. I'm going to just smell like a fall goodness all day long. But let me know if you guys picked up any fall candles from Bath & Body Works or any of the new fall body care. Heck, there is so much new stuff coming that I am so excited for. It's finally fall. My little heart is so happy. I know I say, oh, it's fall, and you're all like, it's July. No, it's fall. It's fall in my eyes. So I hope you guys have a great week. Let me know what candles you've tried. What are some of your staples for fall? What scents are you excited to see back? And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.